can't we all just get along? You know, but 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 actually we are sort of getting along, and and um, in a weird way, um, uh, just a little item uh, from the an Oklahoma newspaper, Oklahoma, mind you, not most liberal place in the country, that said that about 200 Democrats, Republicans, and Libertarians, conservatives and liberals, hawks and doves show their opposition to U.S. intervention in the Syrian civil war in a nonpartisan rally at the Oklahoma Capitol on Friday. Um, there also was the congressional vote on surveillance. Uh, didn't get the kind of attention it should have. I thought that should have been big headlines that uh, uh, almost a majority of Congress, well, at least almost half the people voting, uh, voted to roll back uh, all of these uh, uh, decisions that have been made basically enabling the president and the national security apparatus to do pretty much whatever they want in terms of spying on us. That's pretty remarkable. A lot of Democrats and a lot of Republicans got together. It was a completely bipartisan thing. And I believe that what that's telling us is that something really is changing in the country. Something big is afoot. Uh, I can certainly feel it. Um, uh, and I've seen it over the last four or five years, particularly quickening in the last few months. There is something exciting going on here. Uh, I remember when the uh, Arab Spring began uh, in the Middle East. If, if you read who I want, you know that from our investigative reporting that not all Arab Springs are made uh, equal. And some of them uh, are, are one thing and some of them are another. An easy way to figure it out is uh, try to figure out uh, who the Americans, uh, which one the American Secretary of State is for and which ones are not. Um, uh, and that's a very, very interesting issue. Perhaps we can get into a little bit in the Q&A. Uh, but um, uh, uh, it is a new day, and as I like to joke, or maybe not joke, if uh, we have all these revolutions going on all over the world, who knows, maybe it could even happen here. And we could actually have budding democracy in this country. And then I say, nah, that's, a little, that's asking a bit much. Could we ever overcome the institutionalized corruption in this country, the tremendous big money, the, uh, the corporations, the strange thing how every president, whether they're a Democrat or Republican, a conservative or a liberal, you notice how they do so many of the same things. They're different on some hot button social issues that appeal to the base. And even those, they have to be brought dragging, sort of dragged kicking and screaming. But on these big issues of war and peace and uh, money and uh, some of the other issues, doing something about climate change, there doesn't seem to be that big a difference. And then you have to ask yourself, why?